Hello, my name is Colby Mayer, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make buffalo chicken wings. To get prepared for this presentation, I've experimented with and tested 12 different styles of recipes, including Caribbean jerk chicken, all the way to classic buffalo wings, which I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Everyone loves buffalo wings, but where do they come from? Teresa Bellissimo, Bellissimo owner of the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, was the first one to create these. One night when her son and her friends wanted a late night snack, she decided to go down to her kitchen and cook up something for them to eat that night. The only thing she had left in her kitchen were some leftover chicken wings that weren't used very often at the time. She deep fried the wings and served them with a buttery chili sauce and along with some celery and blue cheese. The wings were an instant hit and this was a creation of the buffalo wing. Now, I consider we are making the buffalo style wings. These wings have, have a calorie count of 700 calories and 21 grams of fat for 12 wings. So if you're on a diet or watch your weight, I recommend to eat in small proportions or avoid completely. Now, before we get started, we need to make sure we have all the proper ingredients and utensils. First off, we're going to need, obviously, our 12 chicken wings. We're going to need 3 ounces of butter, some kosher salt, some minced garlic, and if you prefer, you can have some chopped celery to go on the side, and some dipping sauce. I'm using blue cheese dressing. Now that we have our ingredients, let's make sure we have all our proper cooking utensils. We're going to need a mixing bowl, a mixing spoon, we're going to need a baking pan, some tongs, some measuring utensils, and we're also going to need a frying pan. Now that we have all our ingredients and all our utensils out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to take my chicken wings and I'm going to place them on my cooking pan, just evenly spaced. You want to make sure before you start cooking your wings, you haven't defrosted all the way through. If you start baking your wings before they're all the way defrosted, you run the risk of eating them undercooked and this could lead to serious illness. So please, make sure your wings are all the way defrosted before baking. All right. Once we have our wings on our cooking tray, I'm going to place them in the oven. You want to make sure the oven is set for 425 degrees. And we're going to be cooking these for 20 minutes on one side and an additional 20 minutes on the other side. You want to place these on the middle tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for 20 minutes. Okay, now that those are cooking, let's go ahead and work on our sauce. First off, we're going to take our frying pan that I have preheating over here on our oven. I'm going to take my three ounces of butter and chopped garlic and I'm going to empty my contents into the pan. You want to make sure that you don't cook them too high because you don't want to burn the butter. You just want to get enough to melt it. So I'm going to take one teaspoon approximately of chopped garlic. And I'm going to go ahead and let those just simmer on low to medium heat. While our butter is melting with our garlic, let's go ahead and work on the sauce. I'm going to use one quarter cup of my Frank's Red Hot Sauce, put it in our mixing bowl, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. Then I'm going to combine these ingredients until they're thoroughly mixed. Okay, after we have our sauce and our kosher salt mixed in our mixing bowl, Let's check on our butter. Now, uh, like I said before, you want to make sure the butter isn't burned, just enough to get melted. You want to mix the butter and the garlic together until you have a nice creamy sauce. Okay. Once we have our butter and garlic sauce mixed up, we're going to empty all contents into one bowl, place our pan off to the side, go ahead and turn off the stove, and we're going to mix all these ingredients together, and this will, this will create our buffalo sauce. Now this is one variation of the buffalo wing sauce. This isn't the original made by Teresa Bellissimo. Those contents are kept secret, and no one really knows. So once we mix these all together, I don't know if you can see, but it should be a nice orangish, orangish color, just like the classic buffalo wing sauce. Okay, once our contents are, contents are mixed all the way through, 
We'll go ahead and check our wings. Uh, like I said earlier, it is going to take 40 minutes to cook all these wings, but uh, I, go ahead, I went ahead and made a batch prepared up for us. This is what your wings should look like after they're all the way cooked after, tw after 40 minutes. They should be nice and crispy with a nice light brown looking color. Once we have our wings cooked and our sauce mixed up, empty all the contents into our mixing bowl with the sauce. And go ahead and mix the wings together with the sauce until they're fully coated. You want to get them nice and covered. As you can see, but you want to make sure your wings are nice and covered with our buffalo sauce, nice rich orange color. Okay, and once they are all the way mixed, we're going to need our tongs. They're ready to serve. And there you go. Serve them up with celery. And your choice aside, blue cheese, ranch, or whatever you prefer. So in conclusion, I've taught you the or origins of the buffalo wing, the proper utensils, the proper ingredients, and how to cook them. So no matter what your taste buds are, if you're not a fan of the buffalo sauce, just remember, no matter what restaurant you go to, or what cookbook you look in, there's going to be a chicken wing recipe out there for everyone to enjoy. Thank you very much.